I get it. So, you're the cool one, you're the funny one, and you're the... Girl. Which one am I? I'll tell you which one you are, Chris Kirkman. You're the one I bought first. Hello, my name is Fu Manchu, and I'm a big fan of the cartoon called Bravest Warriors. And you know, they make some toys and posters and comic books and stuff like that. But imagine my surprise when I found out that 3A makes 1-6 scale figures of at least some of them. So I had to have one. And today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on the 3A Bravest Warriors. And I love that little bee up there. I'm just a little bee. As seen on Cartoon Hangover, Chris Kirkman, 1-6 scale collectible figure. And man, oh man, what a figure it is. Check this out. Not only is it completely cartoon accurate, but it's a 1-6 scale figure with actual fabric clothes. And man, oh man, that is awesome. Now, you wouldn't think that there would be any articulation here with their little noodly arms and noodly legs. But yep, there's supposed to be a wire inside there. And man, oh man, that is awesome. Now, I have to say, when I got this figure in the mail today... It's big, man. This is a really big figure. Now, I know it's 1-6 scale and junk like that, but I didn't expect it to be this heavy and this big. This package is huge. But then again, most 3A packages are really tall. This is awesome. And as you can see, his accessories are his gloved gauntlet hands, and that is awesome. And yeah, that is super cool that he actually has pants that are sewed that tight to his legs and arms with sleeves like that and stuff. That is awesome. Yeah, this figure looks totally cool, and I absolutely love it. Let's flip it around to the back, shall we? Now, the back of the package is a little plain. It's just got a little drawing there of Chris with a little sunburst behind him. And then right there, it says Bravest Warriors 3A and Cartoon Hangover in his name. And that's it, man. There's really nothing else here. But you know what? It makes me totally happy. Let's look back at the front of the package. Now, like I said, I was totally surprised to find that 3A actually had the license to make 1-6 scale versions of these characters. And man, oh man, is that awesome. Now, they've only made Chris, Beth, and Catbug. And they've showed prototypes of a couple of the others. But they haven't showed a prototype for Wallow, which makes the fourth member of the Bravest Warriors team. And man, oh man, I really hope they make him, because he will be huge and that would be awesome now there's actually comic books and posters and bindies and stuff but i couldn't find any of them man and there there isn't any reviews for these 3a figures here on youtube so i don't know what the deal is man i figured somebody would review them because these figures look awesome and the cartoon is totally cool and i love it and so i guess i'll be the first one to review these so let's find out if it's a good figure i say we open it now, after removing this tray, you'll see that there's actually two trays inside of this box, and that is awesome. Because unlike other 3A figures, this one comes with a stand, and that is so cool. I actually wondered how he would stand up with those little feet and those long, skinny legs. But yep, he actually came with a stand, and that is totally awesome. So let's see what else he came with, shall we? Now, behind the figure in the package, you'll also see a little baggie, and I thought this was a little 3A catalog, but actually it's a 3A postcard. And on top of that, you'll see a sticker with the logo that is actually on Little Shadow's t-shirt, and that is awesome. And looky there, on the back of the postcard, it actually says, Adventure Cartel. It's like they know what I collect. Now, after removing the stand, you'll see a little hole where you're supposed to snap the little arm onto. Well, you can't snap it on entirely. You have to loosen this little screw first, and then you have to pop it together and screw it together. But that shouldn't be that hard. There! It's done! Now, it wasn't hard, but it was a little scary, because you have to tighten that screw pretty tight. And since it's clear plastic, I was so afraid it would crack or I would break it. Ugh, man, but you know what? I do wish all of the 3A figures came with these stands because, man, I got a lot of 3A Adventure Cartel figures that don't have stands, and that kind of sucks. Okay, let's check out the figure. So, here's the Chris Kirkman figure stood straight out of the package looking totally awesome. Now, 
First impressions. Number one, after you open this figure, he actually appears a lot smaller outside of the package as he is inside of the package, which is kind of strange, but you know what? He's still awesome. Number two, there's only articulation at the top of the neck where he's got like a ball-jointed neck and the bendiness of his arms and the bendiness of his legs. There is no other articulation there. Now, his torso underneath his shirt appears to be the same plastic that his head's made out of, but everything else is kind of like, you know, a, a glorified bendy now you can bend his arms up at the shoulders and stuff like that and get his arms in those crazy u shapes and stuff that they do in the cartoon make him look like he's running and everything but you know what this is totally cool now i'm not going to be bending mine up because mine's just going to stand on the shelf all static like this but you know what i absolutely love it another thing that i notice after opening it is he actually has a wire at the top of his collar on his little marty mcfly vest there and that is awesome you can actually see too that his little rub sticker that he has inside of you know in the cartoon it's actually like a piece of plastic over it and that is very cool indeed it's not a sticker at all and that is totally cool another thing that i noticed is his boots feel like really thick balloons seriously they're not like hard plastic or soft plastic even they they feel like balloons i mean really thick balloons but balloons they're real squishy and everything that's kind of weird and as you can see his pants and stuff are sewed he's actually got the little decorations on the side of his legs and man those are super tight to the legs and that is awesome 3a does an amazing job with their tailoring this looks so cool and so screen accurate that is so neat now his little hands are little rubber barbie doll hands as you can see and uh, you won't get any articulation in those except for maybe bending them at the wrist and all the way up his arms. And then, like I said, he's got a ball-jointed head. So let's flip him around to the back and check him out from behind. So, here's the Chris figure from behind, and as you can see, the stand is going to mess up the collar if you're not careful. It will squish it down because you can't really, you can stand it up straighter, but it doesn't bend there at the, the front claw part. It just bends right back here, so that's about as high as you can get it, and it, he needs to be, have a stand that's a little bit higher than that. But you know what? That's no big deal at all. Now, up here, you can see the, the way his hair is sculpted, and that is totally cool indeed. They really translated this cartoon design to a 1-6 scale figure form, and this is so cool indeed. Indeed. Yeah, that is awesome. Let's flip him back around. So, here's Chris from the front one more time, and you're probably saying, hey, what did he come with? Well, you already know, he came with his gauntlets. And check this out, I honestly thought that green part was painted on, but as you can see, it's got like the clear thing that the uh, rub sticker on his chest has. That is so cool, it's actually got green plastic on the blue, and that is so cool indeed. And when you flip them around... You can see that he's actually got some Iron Man arc blasters there on his palms, and that is awesome. Yeah, this is so cool, and I can't wait to see what he looks like with them on. So let's check him out with them on, shall we? You know what, on second thought, let's look at what they look like on the inside first, because you're probably curious like I was before I got it. As you can see, there's just like a hole that you stick his hands in. Now, I'm assuming they just stay on, you know, because they're tight or whatever. So let's find out, shall we? Let's see, there's his hands before... And there's his hands after, and man, oh man, does that look awesome. The only problem is, boy, do they go on tight. You almost have to shove his hands inside there, and since his hands are really soft rubber, and since you don't want to push the sleeves of his jacket up and stuff like or his, his shirt, I guess, up, yeah, it's kind of scary to do that, but look, they stay on really well, and, you know, that's what the character looks like mostly in the cartoon anyways, unless he's sleeping or something like that. But you know what? That is so cool, and I absolutely love what they look like. So I say we look at this guy up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super-duper close-up look, and starting with the shirt, you can see the little material that it's made out of. It looks so awesome, indeed. Here's his vest. You can see the little black line is actually stitched on. I thought it was just drawn on, so that's really cool, indeed. And then over here, you can see his little rub sticker where his little B comes out of it. Now, that is one complaint I have about these figures. I do wish it would have came with, like, a little figurine, a little clear B. Uh, green clear B. That would have been so awesome, and they really missed, you know, the mark on that one. But, oh well, it came with a stand. What else can I say? And then up here, you'll see the little stand, how it's grabbing onto his neck, and then right here, you have his face, and there's his little drawn-on mouth, looking very Adventure Time, and that is pretty awesome indeed. And then you got his little eyes right there. Very cool. You'll notice he is eyebrowless, unlike Danny. And then up here, he has his little spiky blonde hair that goes... I really like how your hair goes... 
Me too. And when you turn him to the side, you can really see how his hair goes. And check this out, man. I love the little points there at the back. That is awesome. Right here, you got his little ear. And he's got no hole for his ear, but that's the way he is in the cartoon. There's his face from the side. It looks like he's got freckles, but it doesn't. It's just the way the paint is on his face. Right down here, you've got the color of his neck right there. You've got the color. Now, like I said, that's got a wire inside of it, and that is awesome. You can see the uh, shoulder part of the sleeve right there. And then you've got his long noodle arms, which almost looks like a giant earthworm. If that was pink, that's what that would look like. And then down here, you've got his gauntlets with the little clear plastic green part there. And then right there, too. And he's got his little balloon fingers right there, which look very cool indeed. Now, working our way down the front of the figure, you've got his shirt, and then you've got his pants right there. And like I said, I love how tight they're sewed to the body. I mean, they really make these pants look like the way they do in the cartoon. That is so cool. You got this little decoration here on his leg, right there. And then down here, you've got his little balloon boots or whatever they are. Now, like I said, these things are very, very weird feeling. They, they feel like a balloon, but like I said, a really thick balloon, so yeah, if anything's going to get ruined on this figure, it'd probably be this, because they're kind of sticky, and they're, like, I don't know, they're very balloon-like. So hopefully they'll hold up over time, you know, but if anything's going to deteriorate, I guess it would be that. Right there's his neck, and you can see how it's got the ball jointed right there, and you can see how wide the hole is, so it's got some pretty good, you know, ball jointedness and a lot of articulation there that is very cool indeed down his back you've got the black line again that's on the back of his jacket and very cool indeed you got his pants right there and working our way down to his feet again and that is awesome so in case you're curious how this figure scales up next to other 1-6 scale figures here's the figure i just reviewed yesterday bleak mission from adventure cartel now both of these figures are made by 3a and it's really cool to see a 3a figure that doesn't have any weathering on it whatsoever and man oh man that is awesome now as you can see they're roughly around the same size albeit this one looks a lot bigger because his big old head and stuff like that but you know what these look really cool together and if you watched my Bleak Mission review yesterday, then you probably remember me saying something about his ankle being very, very loose. Well, I found out why my figure was broken. That's right, where the ball joint from the shoe connects to the ankle, the ankle peg hole or whatever was broken, and I had to glue it and stuff like that. So hopefully it'll be fine, but you know what? Hey, that happens, and at least it's only happened to me once, but I still like the figure a lot, and these two guys look awesome. Now, like I said, when I found out that 3A had the license to make these figures, I was totally happy and couldn't wait to get one. But I was totally shocked to find out that there were no reviews for these figures on YouTube. Man, I wanted to know how good they were, how big they were, and scale with everything and stuff like that. So, I guess somebody had to do it. So I hope you liked this review. I hope it was okay. And I actually have another one of these figures on the way. I have his almost girlfriend, Beth. And man, oh man, she should be here any day. I can't wait to see her. So, there's my review for the 3A Bravest Warriors, Chris Kirkman, one six scale figure, and man oh man, do I love this figure. The only thing that sucks is, you can't get all four of the Bravest Warriors together on one shelf right now, because like I said, they haven't made Wallow yet. Man, that sucks, and Danny still isn't out. You can just get him, Beth, and Catbug. And you know what? That's good enough for me, but I really hope they make the rest of them, because, man, I would love to have all four of them on my shelf. So, until I get Beth in the mail, or until I review something else, tune in for more! Foo! Reviews! <laughs> come on, Felsman, come on, come on, come on! Let's go have an adventure like the Bravest Warriors! Let's go! Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out!